Hello, I'm Hia. And I'm Harmi. Welcome back to the April 8th grade episode. We'll be your hosts. First up, Mika with some answers to your questions. Hi guys, it's Mika and you guys know the drill. This is Ask the Night. Is that the name of it? Okay, so first question, I'm feeling like I'm being left out all the time. What can I do to avoid that? First off, if you're being left out, don't let anyone treat you poorly. Like, don't. Like, I mean, definitely try talking to them and everything, but don't let anyone treat you poorly. Just don't. They're not worth it. What is your advice if you're having trouble with a friend? Okay, so, like I said, don't let anyone treat you poorly. Seriously, they're not worth it if they're treating you badly. But definitely try talking with them, because if they're your friend, chances are they actually want to be your friend. Last question, I'm a part of a Minecraft Mentors Club, and some of us, the members, were wondering if we could have Leading Edge Live, but a Minecraft video or something, could we do that? Okay, so go talk to Natalie and Kayla about it, because that's not, like, my area. Like I said, don't let anyone treat you poorly. Just don't. Thanks, Mika. We had two very important events on the 19th of March. The Science and Renaissance Fairs. Thank you to Ms. Mobile for organizing such a wonderful event as well as the 7th and 8th graders for such wonderful performances. Jillian. And I'm Madeline. And we're going to be your work showcase hosts for the 8th grade episode. The 6th graders just finished their gods and goddesses for the Greek unit. And the 7th graders are currently working on their social issue collages, but by the time you view this, they'll be done. And the 8th graders are working on making masks for their plays. Welcome to another edition of Mr. Shane's Corny Jokes. Today I have a special guest from the 8th grade, Ainsley Beckman. <laughs> Hey, hi. Hey, hi, Ainsley. Hi. All right. Our first joke today is one that was uh, highly requested, and it's pretty funny. So, why is it hard to hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. So, make sure you use the bathroom during the breaks. All right. Second one is, since the stars have been out lately, uh, it's been nice spring uh, evenings. How does NASA organize their company parties? They plan it. All right. Good. And then these are some interesting puns food for thought. If a clock is hungry, it goes back four seconds. That's a good one. And then what's the last one? A hard boiled egg in the morning is hard to beat. All right, think about those. Hi, I'm Dylan and I'll be your round campus host for today. The question is, what would be your ideal spring break? I would throw giant parties. Indoor skydiving, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I want to, yeah, I want to hang out with One Direction. Decorating my room, what is it? With Kate Upton? Parties. parties. One parties. Direction. Yeah. Jackson's Pool party. I would probably want to go to Hawaii with my family because it would be really fun. And I've also been there before, so just get out of California in general. 
So my ideal spring break would be um, having a big party and partying all night with no my friends. And no one would be there and, and all my friends would be there. Taylor, Ashley would be Ashley there would and Nolan would be dancing over there and then I would go and dance with him. I would want to go to Florida and because of Disney World and hang out with my friends. I would want to go to Kentucky and visit all like the racehorse farms. You know how I'm ruling the world? I would be like the ruler of the world and I would order all the candy. Well, I'll go to a candy park instead of a water park and the slides will be like liquid candy and then the ground will be candy and it would be my dream and I would play Minecraft all, all weekend. Hanging out with five seconds of summer in one direction. March is very hard for both people that make leading edge live happen. Unfortunately, because of that, they were not able to air in proper leading edge live episodes. Thanks to all of you for being so patient. But we thought that everyone still wanted to see something and we were able to make bacon. See what I did there? Hi, I'm Mackenzie and I'll be your sports update host. Boys volleyball got in second place at their tournament. Track is going well and the pancake breakfast was a big success. Thanks for all the people that came out to support our sports. Now it's time for question, question of the month. month. Last month we asked you what would be one thing you would tell your past self. Our winner was Bennett from the sixth grade with the answer of, if I could travel back in time, I would tell my past self not to do anything wrong and never lie and don't get into trouble for doing dumb things and be an awesome beagle of all time. Stay tuned for next month. Bye. Bye. of Leading Edge Life. My name is Rory. And I'm Amo. We'll be substituting for Lindsay and Summer. This is how it's done. Greetings to the sixth grade. Greetings, this is the sixth grade. <laughs> 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 uh, how does NASA plan their parties? You just... Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Cut that. <laughs> their Captain America shield. It took a total of two minutes. <laughs> Have you ever watched Rudy by Amy Azaria and, uh, mm -hmm. No, you should totally, like, just start filming right now. We don't. Don't. No, she go goes away. to the eighth grade version, go huh? Go go away. Perfect. So, Mr. Shane's Corny Jokes segment has just received a new sponsorship. It is our ranch-style beans. Don't be caught without them. You guys know the drill. This is Mika. Hi, Mika. Hi, Mika. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 